How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. I hope you're having a good one because I am so excited to be back. I'm having so much fun just running around the observatory, the conservatory, not the observatory, and just feeding my slimes. We've managed to get some automation going for the pink phosphor largo. There are some cuberries in the feeder, and there are some plorts in the collectors here. So we'll go ahead and grab that. I suppose we'll head over here and uh, we'll just sell that. And then coming down this way, we got ourselves some Honey Rock Largo, who are just chilling. There's some mint mango waiting there to be fed to them. And there is some plort just laying around. So we'll go ahead and just grab all of this and we'll get it sold as well. So just grab all of you, we've got 12 of each. And then we have these guys who have six plort waiting around to be collected. And we can head up that way and sell it all as well. In terms of the gardens, they are doing fine. They are growing quite nicely and... Uh, Everything's just working a little bit like clockwork right now, which does make me incredibly happy. Now, what's interesting is we're sitting on 1,388 new bucks right now. It's 1,800 to unlock, essentially, any of the other spaces around the observatory, conservatory. Uh, so we might want to look into that. We might want to get ourselves some new space. But what I'm also curious about is getting myself some upgrades because that is a thing that we can do uh so look in here a resource harvester for resource nodes might not be a bad idea i'm not too interested in a heart module but i would like i think a power core i would like uh some energy boosts i think dash boots with a boom plort i don't know where i'm gonna get that a jetpack interesting i need radiant ore for that i'm not too sure where i'd get that a tank booster with tabby plorts improved nano storage cell technology allows your vac tanks just to hold up to 30 units of whatever you can vac up an extra tank with rock plort and silky sand not too sure where to get that puddle angler and deep brine interesting and then what is this thing a pulse wave okay well fair enough we have got some warp tech as well we don't have any decorations that's fine I think what I'd be interested in is probably dash boots to reduce energy consumption while sprinting. I think a power core would be fantastic. And honestly, I think the tank booster as well. So we need to get some cotton plorts. We need to get some phosphor plorts and we need to get some tabby plorts. Now the tabby plorts might be slightly tricky. Well, eh, not necessarily. I suppose what we could do is we could combine these guys with the the tabby plorts and then just continue to feed them some lettuce and everything will be okay there. So I think that's maybe what we'll do. Let's, oh, we also have a message. What do we got from, uh, oh, we have a couple of people. We have Ogden as well. Beatrix, I've, I've done it. I believe I've cracked the super mysterious code that was sent to me. It was astoundingly complex. I believe that the AI that created this code displays a comparable intellect to my own. So very advanced, almost alien. Oh, you're probably wondering what it said. Well, I determined that this mysterious, perhaps even alien AI sent a message that says, hello, not much, but pleasantries count for something. More importantly though, the moment I cracked it, I received another message. It's almost as though this mysterious AI is monitoring me. How exciting. I haven't decrypted it yet, but the code is considerably more complex. This should be fun. Well, back to work as ever. And then we have Ogden. Hola, Beatrix. Are you there? It's me, Ogden. I hear you're off on a big new adventure on a mysterious island filled with secrets and danger and maybe a few succulent fruits or veggies the world has never seen before. You know I had to ask. Ever since you got me a steady supply of cucadoba fruits, I've been researching for even greater culinary heights within the far, far range. Plus, I'm getting pretty tired of eating cucadoba pie, cucadoba souffle, cucadoba pudding, cucadoba corn uh, con carne. Uh, you get the idea. I'm running out of ideas and willpower. So if you see something new, please tell me about it. Tasty treats aside, I want to know all about the new flora and fauna that you discover. Never forget, Every bit of this world is precious and worth our care and respect. And stay hydrated out there. All that adventuring will work up a sweat. So take this water tap. Okay. Good luck, Beatrix. Keep me posted. I'm rooting for you. Okay. 
All right. Well, fair enough. I... Are you guys getting hungry? You are getting grumpy. There's nothing to feed you right now, though. So I suppose what we can do is head out and see if we can find some tabby plort, which, if I remember right, involves me going around this way and then swinging around to the right, I think. I suppose I should just take a look at the map. Yeah, we want to go sort of this way. And this is roughly, I think, where we'll find some tabby slimes. Yeah. So I need you to eat something. In fact, I could just bring you with me and feed you some chicken. That's that's always an option. And I might just I might just do that. Might not be a bad idea. Just feed them some chickens. Or feed them chickens now. That might also not be a bad idea. Either of you two hungry by any chance? You, for example. You want a chicken? Yeah, you do. There you go. I'd like the uh, I'd like the plort. Thank you very much. All right, give me that chicken. And uh, you, you hungry? Yes, you are. Give me that plort. There it is. All right. Well, that kind of works out. I mean, I only really need two tabby plorts. I don't really need much more than that because it's sort of exponential, right? If I feed two of them, uh, two of the cotton slimes, some tabby plort, then the rest of them can get tabby plort from those larger slimes. So I guess we'll just head back and do that. And that should solve quite a few of my problems. And by solve my problems, I mean it will start to solve my problems. It's not going to fix anything because I still need a bunch of tabby plort. But that's fine. That's that's okay. I've also just remembered that this fella is down here. So I'm going to go ahead and start feeding him some fruit and see if we can't get him to pop anytime soon. And if we can do that, I'm curious to see what might actually be down there. Although I think we're going to need a lot of uh, of fruit to do that. Although I suppose we could maybe take some cuberries out. He is going to like them. It might do double what the uh, the regular stuff does. So I guess we'll see. But for now, let's go ahead and feed you guys some tabby plort. And uh, I I don't know that this is my best idea, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm also curious to check something. What is a tabby's favorite thing? It's a stony hen. Do I have any stony hens here? It uh, doesn't necessarily look like I do. We still have uh, we still have the sea hen right there. We might just be a bit overpopulated, so let me um, let me grab a few of you guys. We'll grab. I don't want the rooster. We'll just go for ten regular hens, and uh, well, this is going to be a little bit, a little bit uh, unorthodox, but we'll just do this essentially, and that should should result, I think, eventually, in uh, yeah. We've got more plort just popping out there, so that should pretty much deal with everything that I need it to deal with. And uh, in time, we should have a bunch of tabby plort in there. There's some right there. Hopefully one of these guys goes and eats it. And uh, like I said, we'll see more of these guys just turning into the uh, cotton tabby largos, which is exactly what we're looking for. As for this space, I think it's going to be a little while before this is ready to be harvested, so that's okay. And as for you guys, you can just sort of continue to do your thing. And then eventually, I'll take that tabby plort down to the refinery. Speaking of which, didn't I need phosphor plort? I don't remember what I needed. I need cotton plorts, which should be easy. I needed, well, I need phosphor for that, but I needed cotton. I needed tabby. And was there anything else that I particularly wanted? I don't really remember. I guess just cotton. I guess boom was another one. I guess phosphor for the for that one, but I don't know where to get radiant ore. Was there not rock plort that I needed for something? Or am I just imagining that? I guess a heart module pink plort. Uh, I kind of want to prioritize the power core, I think, and the tank booster. So, tabby and cotton, which is easy. We can do both at once. And this makes it even better. We have a whole bunch of water lettuce waiting to be collected. So we can go ahead and throw that down into the auto feeder for these guys and keep them very happy. At least I think, did I not give these guys an auto feeder yet? No, I guess I didn't. Okay, well, we should probably do that. So let's go ahead and get you guys a nice auto feeder right there. And we can go ahead and do, I guess, maybe about 10 of them in there. And we'll just give you guys a bunch of this as well. And that should work to keep them exceptionally happy, which I think means if I just go and collect right here, we have a bunch of cotton. We don't have as much tabby, but I think we'll get there. As for you guys, 
We've got another one plotting right there. Let's go and collect. And I suppose let's go and make some money. So that right there is a comfortable 1,632. And if I just make sure that everything's collected here, that's going to go up kind of considerably, I think, which means we might be able to unlock one of the new areas, which I think I'd like to do. Although I did need that pink plort. Oh, I needed phosphor too. Hold on a minute. Let's not get too carried away here. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's throw this into the refinery and see what exactly we can do here. So all of that phosphor and all of that pink. And then taking a look here, we have, we, we could get a heart module. Let's, let's get the heart module. And uh, this needs cotton, this needed phosphor, and this needs tabby. So still, cotton and tabby. We can, <laughs> we can, we can do that. I keep getting distracted. All right, we didn't quite get enough in the way of tabby plort, but we can put it in there anyway. And we can put all this cotton plort in there as well. And then if we come along, we can get ourselves the power core, which is fantastic. And then in terms of this guy, we just need four more tabby plort. So let's head back upstairs. We can sprint for a little bit longer now. And we just need these guys to eat anything, really. And if I'm not mistaken, now, if I just do this right there, we should have enough in the way of tabby plorts for a tank booster, which means I can now carry up to 30 of any one thing in my hotbar at the bottom of the screen, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead and sell this. Let's go ahead and sell this. And well, we've got more stuff to collect over here. So let's go ahead and just collect all of that and uh, continue to make some money. Although I am wondering if I should maybe throw a bunch more of this into the refinery. It is kind of tempting. It, it, in a way, it feels like it makes sense. In another way, it feels like what I could really do is just make a bunch of money to unlock one of those new areas that I've been talking about, which I'm very curious to explore. I've got, no, I, I should mention, I don't know how much of this game has been marketed, if that makes sense. I, I don't know how much of it they've like revealed. So I went into this totally blind. I knew it was going to be more Slime Rancher. I just, I, I don't know what this area looks like. I don't know what that area looks like or the one over there looks like. And I kind of like that. I kind of like not knowing. It's, uh, I've, I, where did I talk? I talked about this somewhere. I don't know if it was in a comment or if it was on Discord, discord.gg slash conflict nerd, by the way. I, I talked about it somewhere about why I like to go into games kind of blind. And it's, it's not, how, how do I put this? There's a lot of people and I get a lot of comments that will try and guide me in, in one direction or another when it comes to games. And some will call that backseat gaming. I think as, I, I don't think as a, as a YouTuber, I really get the, the, the luxury to call it that. I kind of open myself up to that, that feedback, right? And I think backseat gaming, you know, I, I think it, 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 it has a lot of like negative connotations to it. I think what people are trying to do with comments is just try to help. And that's fine. That's why I do this. I, I, I want that conversation. I want, you know, to, to have those conversations and have that feedback and, and have that like almost collaboration with people that also enjoy these games. Um, but there is a, there's a degree, there, there's a part of me that really enjoys going into stuff just blind because I love the discovery. I love finding things. I love learning things. I love making mistakes and then, you know, either I will, wait, how is it 1800 for these? Let me just double check here. It is, it's 1800. Either I learn from the mistakes through gameplay or I'm fortunate enough that I can turn to YouTube comments and be like, all right, what's going on? What am I messing up? So that's, that's what I'm enjoying about this. I'm going in completely blind. I have no idea what I'm doing. And uh, thus far, it's really fun. It's really, really fun. But uh, let's go ahead and wait until morning. Let's sleep until morning so that we can hopefully get a little bit more money. And uh, I think I'm just going to unlock that one. And looking at it, we actually have a bit of a harvest to uh, deal with this morning. So let's go ahead and get all this stuff first so that we can keep all the slimes nicely fed while we're exploring a new part of the conservatory. So that's going to be a nice chunk of mint mango right there. So these guys are, 
Uh, they're not looking too grumpy, which is good. We can give them a little bit of food right there. And these guys are, I don't think, getting too grumpy at the minute. We can give them some mint mango right about there. And we can also go and collect everything. And there's a little bit to be collected right about here and right about here. And then there is a decent little bit to be collected right about here and right about here. So now I think we're probably going to have enough money to get what I want. So the tabby plort is 23 new bucks per plort. The cotton plort is 11. We'll go ahead and dump it in there. The honey is 19, which is not too bad at all. And this one is 18, which is, eh, it's been better. And actually, I totally forgot about the phosphor blower that we have right here as well. We are sitting in $2,150, or new bucks, by the way. So this is only going to get better. Let's have a look at the pink blower. It is currently worth eight. So we'll go ahead and sell all of this, which brings us up to 2,358. Phosphor is worth 11, which could be better, but it's still not too bad. That gives us 2,644. Let's go ahead and unlock the archway. An expansion to the conservatory set amongst ancient ruins and fields of rainbow grass. What does this place look like? Got a very nice path down to it. I do like that. I'm hoping for a good number of plots down here that I can play with as well. Oh, this is really cool, actually. This looks like uh pretty sure i saw this place in a preview for halo infinite actually <laughs> gonna be honest it's very very similar uh we have one we have two we have three four five plots i think looks to be about five which is okay i can i can deal with that i can deal with five plots i guess we could put well i don't know what we could put down here we can put something down here it's a very cool looking area though I, I do like it. I think it's very, very nice. We've got a little something, something down there that I can, I don't think I can, I can, uh, can I get to this? I can get to this. Okay. Yeah, we've got this, which I, I need an upgrade to harvest, but that's pretty cool. I guess the water tank is probably needed for that. Yeah, this is a, this is a good looking area. We can totally move some slimes down here. We could maybe put the, uh, put the anglers down here or well, actually, thinking about it, don't we still have a plot back here in the conservatory? I'm pretty sure we do. And if we do, I'm pretty sure I should put the anglers on it. Yeah, we have this one right here. The anglers, if we take a look, it's uh, in the Slimepedia. What are they like? Yeah, they, they like the sea hen. What could we combine them with? Is my question. Because if we were to combine them with something... We could probably, you know, use that something's favorite food. I guess we need to discover a different type of slime. And I guess we also probably want to go and make that uh, phosphor gordo pop. So let's uh, let's actually head over that way. Let's see if we can find a bunch of fruit, which we have here. Although I do need this for my, my own phosphor slimes. So maybe we don't use this. But we should probably try and find a bunch of fruit so we can make that guy burst. So we can see what's behind him. Okay, we have 29 pogo fruit. In fact, we have 30 pogo fruit. So let's just head this way. I'm pretty sure it's this end of the conservatory that we're looking towards to find this guy. There he is. It's got to be enough. 30 pogo fruit has to be enough, right? How are you doing? Oh, he's, 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 he's getting somewhere. He's always oh, very close. He's got, he's, there we go. We got five left. Okay, not bad. I'm not really interested in these guys. There are so many of them, but I just, I'm not really too interested. Uh, is that a stony hen? That is a stony hen. I will take that because I can use that. And then what is this? I don't know what this is. It just seems to be water, I guess, which is fair enough. There's, ooh. Now that I'm pretty sure needs tabby blorts, which makes me wonder... That's just some Q berries. If I could get some tabby plort, I might, I, I'm pretty sure I can open that door. So let's head back to the conservatory. Let's get ourselves a single tabby plort. And then if we head back down here, I am pretty sure I can do this. And the door opens. Now what's behind door number two 
is what I'm wondering. Oh, oh, it's just a collectible. I mean, it, it's just a collectible. I, I, what is it? A tank liner used to the fabricator to upgrade the Vax tank guard. Interesting. Okay. I don't know what that means, but uh, I'm here for it. I'll take it. I'll take an upgrade. I mean, I need to make the upgrade and be able to afford the upgrade, but I'll take it regardless. It's still kind of cool. So I suppose, I mean, I suppose we should continue to explore. We haven't actually, to, to be fair, we haven't uncovered uh, these maps yet. We should probably do that. I think it might be kind of cool to do that. Although I also... Well, I want to go back and make sure everybody's fed before I go out for a day. So we'll go ahead and grab a bunch of mint mango. We've got... What are they? The Honey Rock Largos. Okay. So there's nine mint mango in here at the minute. We'll make sure that they're automatically fed. And we'll go ahead and collect. These guys are being fed as well. We'll go ahead and grab... Oh, we might as well grab all of this. We might actually be able to unlock another area today. I feel like there's a solid chance we might be able to do that, which I think would be really cool. Let's, uh, well, actually, let's take a look at the fabricator and let's see what exactly that new thing was. A tank guard salvages 20% of your vac tank's contents upon accidental encounters with the slime sea or following other forms of health loss. So essentially, it will allow me to save some stuff if I die, which is kind of cool. Uh, the resource harvester, if I can get some more cotton plorts, I can get that, which I think I have some cotton plorts. So let's go ahead and do one, two, three, four of that. And let's grab the resource harvester, which is uh, which is kind of cool. I'm, I'm kind of here for it. I don't think I can upgrade my power core any further. I don't know that I need any of this right now. I just, uh, that's, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay, so how do I... Wait, what is this? Gadget mode. Activate. Oh, I can just place stuff in, in places. Interesting. Okay. So how do I... I don't know how the resource harvester necessarily works. But I guess there's resources around that I can harvest with a resource harvester. That would make sense. Uh, there's also a wheelbarrow there, which is fair enough. Yeah, I've got no idea. I've, I've, got, <laughs> I've got no idea how a resource harvester works. I know there are things around the world that I can sort of interact with, but it's it's whatever. Let's go ahead and sell this. Gonna be 11 new bucks per cotton plort. Gonna be 23 per tabby plort. And then looking over here, do you guys have anything for me? You always do. These guys never let me down. Such uh, such good slimes is, is what they are. Such good slimes. Let's go ahead and sell all of this, and I have to imagine it's gonna be enough to get me another, another space. It actually might not be. No, somehow I don't think it is gonna be. Very close. Very, very close. We're, what's that, 41 new bucks shy of a new uh, zone? Oh, these guys never let me down either. We'll grab all of this. We'll sell all of it. And then I guess the choice is which zone do we go for? We have this one over here, which let's just get a reminder of what this place happens to be. This expansion to the conservatory is surrounded by tall rock formations and covered in amber grass. Okay. I also hear one of those robot things up there. Let's just go for this one. Let's just, we just, we came here first. We must have been drawn to it. 1800 is fine by me. And what do we have outside of the cave? It's just another field. <laughs> it's, it's another field. That's fair enough. Uh, one, oh, hello. I don't know what I just did, but all right. We have one. Uh, plot right there. We have two, three, four, and five of them. So I think there's just five per space, which is fair enough. Uh, it does look like there is something down here that we can potentially go explore, though, which I'm very curious about. Wait a minute. Is this, it's another expansion? The Tide Pools, a coastal sanctuary for coral life forms and seaweed. This expansion to the conservatory is guaranteed to fill your shoes with sand. 3,500 to get down there. Interesting. Okay. So that must be like the jetty expansion in the first Slime Rancher. But this is good. We have 10, well, technically, because we haven't used that other plot in the conservatory, we have 11 uh, plots that we can play with right now. So we have 
a lot of space. We have a lot of space for expansion. So I think we should probably go and see if we can get ourselves some angler slimes. Since I reckon they're going to be pretty good for uh, for money. But I'm also curious to see if I can climb up this way. Climb through here. And yeah, I was right. There is a robot up here. Let's see what you have to say. Because I'm very curious. I had the drones rebuild the conservatory exactly as it was before. I was so happy to see it standing there again. It's glass filtering the beautiful daylight of this magical place. When it was done, for a moment, I almost thought things were back to normal. I thought maybe I would just walk inside and start again like nothing happened. And though I know that's not the case, it was still so nice to finally be home again. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. It's getting a little bit dark. Let's go ahead and wait until morning, or sleep until morning, and then we can head outside and, well, I guess we're going to have to feed everybody before we head out for an adventure like we always do, but we can go and see if we can get some angler slimes, and uh, we can put them in a plot right here inside of the, uh, of the conservatory, right about there, and like I said, we are probably going to want to find something to combine them with because their favorite food happens to be the sea hen. And uh, we only have one of those. In fact, to be quite honest, I went and had a look inside the chicken coop and I couldn't even see it. So it's, uh, it might be dead. It might've died or it's old now. I'm not really sure, but I definitely, I definitely don't. Oh no, there he is. He's, he's chilling. He's chilling. There's, uh, there's no other ones though. So that's kind of a problem. But anyway, let's get you guys fed for the day and that'll keep you happy. Uh, let's collect everything and make some money before we head out as well. We can get you guys fed for the day as well with some more mint mango right there. And then we can make sure that you guys are going to be fed through the day as well, collecting some plort and making some money off of the cotton plort and the tabby plort. Now, looking at this, what I'm thinking we could potentially do is... There, there are some hunter slimes around, or at least there were some hunter honey or honey hunter Largo slimes. So if I could get a hunter's plort, we could potentially combine that with an angler and that might be a way to make some really good money. So I think that's what we're going to do. Although I'll be honest, I don't remember exactly where on the map the anglers and hunters are. So we'll start. I guess, by going to the south and see if we can get some anglers. And I'm pretty sure that's where the honey slimes were and it was honey hunter Largos that we were dealing with. So I'm pretty sure we can get both of the, well, the slimes and then the plorts in the south. So we just run straight through here. And on the other side of this little bridge, we do have the rock slimes. But that's what I'm talking about right there. Now, this guy is unfortunately kind of feral, which is a bit of a problem. I need him to not be uh, feral. But we have one here, a pink hunter Largo. If we can feed this guy anything, this guy right here, if we can feed you anything, it'll give me what I need. So I'm going to try and kidnap him for a second. And I'm going to see if I can't find him something that he can eat so I can get a single hunter plort. That's all I'm looking for, is a single hunter plort. Now, if I put you here, and I grab this, and I go to you, and I give you, let's see, give you this chicken. So you take, no, 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 I need that back. You take this roostro, and then poop out a hunter's plort. Thank you. I got two of them, that's perfect. I didn't mean to send him away like that, but that's okay. That's all I needed. Now I just need angler slime. Or if I could find a batty slime, that would be really cool. We did see one of those once upon a time. But if I could find anglers or batty slimes or whatever, anything different, I'll be quite happy. Oh, now I do see a honey gordo up there and I'm wondering how I get to him. I'm assuming I'm probably going to need a jetpack to get around this area the way I would like to get around this area so we'll just keep pushing on and here we are we have some angler slimes and i'm thinking we'll try and get 10 of them i think 10 is probably a good number it seems to work out nicely in my corrals so if i could get a few of them that'd be great 
two is definitely not going to be enough. Uh, there's Angler Slime number three. And they are, they are kind of cool. They seem a little bit dangerous, though, so we might need uh, a music box for these guys. And I'm also going to take their plort, too, because I really might as well. That's just free money at that point. And so looking around here, it does seem... Oh, hello. Can I get... Can I get a couple of you guys? Another couple of sea hens would be kind of great, I'll be honest. If I could get them to lay some eggs, and if I could get a supply of these guys, it would be kind of great. Because the hunters, or the anglers, sorry, do happen to... They do happen to love a good sea hen, so... Not a bad trip thus far. It's not been a bad trip to the... Uh, oh, that's a problem. <laughs> it's not been a bad trip down here at all. If we can just maybe find another thing or two, that would be great. I'll take you, for example. Anything that's interesting around here? Not uh, not particularly. I suppose we'll just keep moving and, I guess, uh, start moving towards the exit. I am 100% going to do this, because as long as I have one hunter plort, we're okay. And it's a shortcut to the exit. That is really cool. Now, here's my question. If I look at the map, I don't... I think... I, is this the way I got in here? I don't actually remember. I think it is. I don't... I'm not 100% sure, though. Regardless, a shortcut to the exit is uh, appreciated. Definitely, definitely appreciated. I don't think this is how I... Oh, it is. This is where we start, isn't it? We go down there. Okay. Yes. A shortcut to the exit. Very much appreciated. So what we can do now with this 2,428 new bucks that we have is we can head back to the conservatory and we can, I suppose, use all that money to get ourselves a corral, get ourselves a music box to keep these guys nice and calm, get some nice high walls, and maybe another, another thing or two such as a plort collector and an auto feeder. So this has just about everything that it's going to need. So what we'll do is get an angler slime in there. We'll give him a hunter plort and hope that he is interested in it, which he might not be. I don't know if he's chill or not. Can you, can you, can you eat this hunter's plort, please? That's, that's kind of what I need you to do, buddy. There you go. Ooh, you look, you look feral. Are you feral? Are you... Are you okay? <laughs> I might have made a mistake. Here, have this. Are you... Are you chill? You're chill now. Okay. And uh, that's... Yeah. So so these guys will get angry. <laughs> that's going to be a problem. But uh, yeah, we can probably deal with that. Let's um, put a bunch more of these guys in here. And give me... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to regret this so much. Uh, here, have that. Have that. And... Uh, <laughs> so going to regret this um let's put these let's let's give you guys like i don't know one more of those and uh put this in here and here give me a bunch of chickens and uh, get rid of you let's fire these guys can i use can i put chickens in an auto feeder is that a thing oh my god it is oh <laughs> it's terrible oh that's terrible <laughs> oh no oh dear all right let's um Let's put some let's put some chickens in that auto feeder and uh <laughs> oh no oh i don't like that i do not like that that is there's there's a lot that's messed up about that <laughs> but oh well we'll go ahead and collect all of this and uh we'll go see how much it's worth that's gonna be a really dangerous dangerous corral to be next to but regardless we're gonna be looking at uh 28 new bucks per plort right there We've got uh, a whole bunch right here as well. And if I'm not mistaken, we do absolutely have a bunch of water lettuce lying around. So let us go ahead and uh, feed my slimes over there. Yes, that was that was very intentional. More high quality humor like that on the channel almost every day. Oh, these guys are actually getting kind of hungry. They do have an auto feeder that's set up for them, though. So I'll just go ahead and throw this all in there and uh, we'll go and collect everything. Uh, these Q-berries have to go to these guys up here. So we'll go ahead and make sure that they're getting auto-fed as well. And now, I'm just going to make money. I'm just going to collect all the plorts, and I'm going to go sell it. And that leaves us with a grand total of 2,097 new bucks. So let's go ahead 
And let's grab ourselves the third and, well, not third and final, but the third expansion, the Den. And let's take a look and see what the Den is all about, because I'm actually really kind of curious about this. I want to see what this one is. It's actually really pretty. This is really, this is really cool, actually. One, uh, two, three, four, and uh, five plots right there. With this as well, where does this go? This seems to go down into a mysterious cave, which is very mysterious. Uh, ooh. Okay, so we're out of the water. It seems to go around a little bit. I don't know what the point of this is. I'm not really sure what the point of this is at all. Like, why we would come down here. It's very strange. I wonder if there's maybe, maybe something planned there. I, I don't really know. Although, I guess maybe if we had tar or something in here, we could throw them into the water and be done with them. But that gives us... I hear one of those robots up there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to them without a jetpack. Wait, hold on a minute. Which way did I come in here? Is that how I got... Is this another cave? It is another cave. And it has some water. And a little bit of access to the water here as well. Okay. So, I think that gives us 15 plots to play with. Which, I would assume, is more than enough for now. And of course, we have got that expansion over in the other end of the conservatory as well, so... That's not too bad. That's the wrong button. If we look here, we have this expansion right here that we have to unlock. So... There's still more to do. There's still quite a bit more to do. And that probably includes getting these guys to... You know, turn into a... Uh, what are they? Angler Hunter Largo slimes. Which in itself should be a tremendous amount of money. So after a quick sleep until morning, we can go ahead and we can harvest a whole bunch of the water lettuce right here. And we'll throw it into these guys to stop them from getting too grumpy. They do still have some, uh, some waiting around, but that's okay. We can go and we can grab all of the mint mango as well and get that ready for the honey slimes over on the other side here as well. So just grab all of you. I don't want to go into those guys. That's fine. And we can grab the Q-berries. And hopefully, hopefully, we can also grab ourselves maybe, well, I don't know, but maybe. Are there any? <laughs> there are some chickadoos. I don't know if there's a difference between chickadoos and, I guess, sea hen. Uh, chickadoos? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get any more sea hens or if, we're, or if I have to go and get them or or how that works, really. But, well, I guess I guess this is fair enough. Give me some chickens. Give me, uh, I don't want you guys, but I do. Oh, they look kind of grumpy down there. <laughs> they look very grumpy. Uh, let's give you guys, I suppose, some chickens. And that'll cheer them up a little bit. And what I can do is, at the very least, I can grab a bunch of this. And uh, we'll see how much money we'll get from the Hunter's Plort and from the Angler Plort as well. And so with all of that said and done, we begin today, which is day 10, with 2,183 new bucks, which is pretty good. Don't mind if I do. I don't mind if I do at all. Although I will say, I think we need to spend some of that just very quickly on getting, uh, getting an air net for this enclosure. So these guys don't manage to escape anytime soon because there were some of them that were jumping up a little bit there and that's a little bit concerning i don't want anybody getting out i especially don't want these guys over here getting out so let's throw a chicken at them and that'll hopefully keep them relatively happy it looks like they have all upgraded which is lovely as well so we'll go ahead and collect and so now i think we're in a very good place for making a whole bunch of money this, this feels good. This feels like a really solid start. Although we have, as I've mentioned, 15 enclosures that we could build. So, there's a lot more we could do. There's definitely a lot more that we could do. And I'm getting very tempted to say that we should maybe be growing two of everything. Because some of these guys, eat, they, they, they eat a lot. They really do. But I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. Because that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye